Hey everybody, Sheldon Nelson here from Spoken Garden. Hey everybody, it's Friday. Happy Friday, day 53. 53, wow. So if you didn't know, we're quarantine gardeners, that's us. And uh, we're just doing a daily video log on what we're doing on a daily basis out in our garden. Mm -hmm. And we wanted to share it with all of you to give you inspiration or give you ideas of what you can do in your garden while you're under quarantine. We cannot believe at this point, we've made 53 daily videos. That's, and we've just been moving around our front and backyard, just completing projects, and it's it's been kind of nice, actually. Yep, we're getting a lot done. Getting a lot done. So, yeah, so today we wanted to talk to you about hostas and what they like, where they grow, and how you could grow them maybe in your garden, too. We're really excited that our hostas are all popping up, and they're getting big, so we're excited to show you. So here is one of our beautiful hostas. Look at the size of those leaves. I mean, just for comparison here. We'll put our hands on these. I mean, wow, just gorgeous. So hostas are a perennial um, and they grow from a central crown and they, they grow up every spring, flower during the summer, and then they die back down to the ground in the fall and over winter. And as they grow, they grow out with their crown. And so each year you'll see these leaves, there'll be more and more of these leaves coming out in the sides every spring once they come out of the ground. And so what you can do is, is you can multiply these in your garden once they get big enough. And it depends on who you talk to, but some people will say, you know, after five years of being in the garden or more, you can divide the crown in the fall with a shovel and you can literally divide the crown out into two plants and then take that other plant that you've divided from the old plant and you can take it out of the ground and place it in a new part of your garden. So here are some more hostas that we have next to our hellebores. There's another one down there. So one thing we love about hostas is they're, one of their main requirements is they love shade. They thrive underneath deciduous trees or shrubs or anything that will leaf out and provide them some shade. And as you can see, these guys are really healthy. So if you have hostas or you've been thinking about planting your own, make sure that you plant them in a shady area. So everybody, we're here in our backyard and Believe it or not, these little green guys right here are hostas. And this is what they look like when they start coming up. Now, you probably can't see it too well here unless I get down right there, but see these little spikes coming up? These are right here, oh, right there. These are hostas. And these are the leaves actually emerging out of the ground. And they're gonna start to look like this, but then they'll look like just like the ones you just saw where they're fully out they're open and they're full of color and they look like leaves. Right now they're just coming out of the ground. So this is what they look like when they emerge. This is a different hosta and it's a little bit behind obviously from the other ones, but still it's underneath an evergreen tree. It's underneath a dug fir, it's in the shade. It gets some sun, but it gets mostly shade all day. It gets lots of water and it really likes it right here. So we hope you enjoyed seeing our hostas in both our front and backyard. We really enjoy watching them grow every year. They're so beautiful. Their foliage is just so large and lush. They add so much to our yard. And like Allison said, the foliage is amazing and the texture it adds, just that lush green. It's really, really fun to see out in the yard. I don't know about Sean, but I definitely want to add more hostas to our yard, different colors and sizes. Looks like we're going to be doing some dividing this, this fall. <laughs> so if you have any comments or questions, leave those down below for us. We'd love to hear from you. Give us that thumbs up, let us know we're doing a good job, and make sure to subscribe so you get updates on all our newest videos. And have a great day ahead, you guys. Happy Friday. Here's to the weekend ahead, and we'll see you tomorrow. We'll be back. Yep, happy Friday. See you later. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.